Hello, welcome to Geeking Out with Shad. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of laughing because VW has a problem that they need to resolve, and it's pretty annoying. Um, and I went and looked on the internet, and this is a common problem even with uh, non-EVs, so this isn't really an EV thing. It's a backup camera thing. So if you notice, <laughs> I have the bikes on the back here. So yesterday... <laughs> Um, when I was trying to, when I loaded the bikes and I was trying to back out of here, I noticed the little alarms for the proximity sensors were going off, right? And I'm like, oh, well, that's kind of interesting. It must be detecting the bikes, right? So then I started to back up and all of a sudden the brakes just slammed on and kind of gave, wham, like gave me whiplash almost, right? Um, so... That's a problem, and it's funny because I'm a software engineer. I write code all the time, and I literally can already think of the code I would write to solve this problem. And so it's, this really goes on to <laughs> BW engineers and their lack of, of thinking this through. So um, when in the owner's manual, all this stuff, there's all this stuff about towing with trailers, but nothing about having bikes on a bike rack or anything um and yes you can disable the backup sensors um but you have to do it each time and remember to do it each time you start the car because it defaults to being on there so you shouldn't have to disable them and i haven't tried this with an, another car like i haven't i don't have a hitch on my bolt it would be interesting to know if i did the same thing on my bolt if it would still have the same backup issues I'm not 100% sure if my bolt will slam on the brakes either. I think it just beeps at me as I get closer to something. I haven't had it, like, slam on the brakes, so it might just be a different system. But the fact this slammed on the brakes unexpectedly was, like, kind of harsh. I mean, it literally, like, stops the car, which is fine if you're trying to park and you're going to run into a car or you're pulling in somewhere and you're going to run into a wall. But we have bikes on the back. So here's the difference, and this is why I talk about you know, being a software engineer and writing code. If you're backing up, the bikes are gonna move with the car, so the distance isn't gonna close in, right? And we're talking milliseconds, or even faster than milliseconds, we're running through these algorithms, right? And the algorithm I would write would be in a loop, and if the distance um, is closing in, getting closer, then I would, you know, slam on the brakes. So if there's a wall here and you're backing up and you're gonna hit the wall, that's a case where you're getting closer to an object, right? So the bikes are attached to the car and the car starts to move and the bikes move with the car so that distance, even though it's close, isn't getting any closer, it's staying the same. So within this loop, you would double check and it's like, well, if the distance is the same as it was the last time we checked as the car is backing up, then don't slam on the brakes. And as you keep going through there, you realize, hey, the distance is the same the entire time. It's not closing in, so don't slam on the brakes. <laughs> like, literally, you can write code to do that, and it's not even a complex uh, way to do it. It's like literally checking a single value of the distance of the object behind the car, and if it's less than it previously was, then you know it's closing. If it's the same, then you know it's not closing in on the car. Like... Seriously, that really bugs the crap out of me. That's like, you know, just not thinking. And it's, and it's just one of those things where they probably, you know, they accounted for having a trailer and everything. And when you have a trailer, you're going to plug the trailer into the car. And then the car knows because you want the trailer lights and all the electric stuff on the trailer to work. When you plug into the car, the car knows there's a trailer now. With bikes, you don't plug anything in. <clears throat> So it doesn't know that there's bikes on there, right? But it should be able to calculate that distance and whether it's closing in on it, on itself or not. Like, yeah. So anyway, that's a big pet peeve of mine and something that I would think <laughs> engineers should be accounting for. So, um, and I don't know if other cars have this problem. Post in the comments. <laughs> Let me know if you run bike racks or... You know, some people have storage containers back here, you know, the little flat bed thing, and they put coolers and stuff. Anything, if you run anything on the back, 
and you have a car with a backup camera, this isn't an EV thing, this is just a car thing, or backup sensors, does it detect that there's something back there and is it a vehicle that puts the brakes on if you're gonna run into something? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments, but it's this is like <laughs> kind of one of those things that is so easy to solve in code, yet I'm surprised <laughs> that they haven't solved for this yet. And I was looking on the internet and this is, there was somebody with a golf that apparently had this problem. Um, and I wish the dog would stop barking. Um, <laughs> but the golf uh, had the same problem. So it's something Volkswagen should obviously start knowing about and do a software update or something to correct it. Anyway, <laughs> I have no idea. Why are you barking, Bjorn? What? I think he's annoyed with this problem also. It's not just me, the dogs don't like it either. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I appreciate your support for my channel. Please like and subscribe. Peace.